ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Fancy Life. Last time we mastered our eighth life. Uh, what was it called? The 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 angling life. Jeez, that's the one. Um, and we also came to Levitania to try and oh, can I get the fish? Super campfire fish. Are oh, you? Yeah. Uh, we also came to Levitania to try and cut down trees. And uh, what was the other thing we tried to do? Cut down trees and uh, mine up the rocks here as well. It proved to be pretty difficult. Today, I want to start a new life. I want to do another combat life. It's been a while since we started Paladin. And so today, I want to start the mercenary life. Look at that helmet. Oh boy. And of course, we are going to do the, uh, the uh, what's it called? The, the, the introduction quest, I guess you could call it. Congratulations, Dale. Welcome to the mercenary life. I'm sure you already know this, but your first port course will be the new master. Remind the location on the map where to find them. Best of luck. Cool. So let's learn how to be a mercenary. Um, I just believe we have to use giant swords. I think so. Anyway, uh, so we actually have to go to the shopping district. That's surprising. I thought it would be in the like the castle. Wait, is that? Oh, it's down here. Okay. Have we been here before? I think we. Hang on. Isn't the crown where you sing the the song for mastering lives? Wait, is that? <laughs> What is this guy's name? Cervantes. Cervante? Cervante. I'm going to call him Cervante. Cervantes. Cervante. Well, well, who's this young whippersnapper? Ah, so you want to be a mercenary, eh? Well, you've got guts, lad, that's for sure. But life as a mercenary is tough. Are you ready to fight two for now against fearsome beasts? I sure am. Uh, we're not going to skip it, though. We're going to continue with it. Oh, a whole excellent. One thing you must know is that in battle you can rely on nobody but yourself. A mercenary depends only on their blade and the strength of their arm. That's not all there is to it. When a mercenary accepts a request, they must always see it through. They must laugh in the face of danger and throw fear to the wind, no matter how fearsome a foe they may face. Huzzah! Even if the foe is an enormous crimson fire-breathing dragon, a true mercenary stands tall, blade in hand, gallantly facing down their foe. Even the strongest of monsters are no match. If you are ready to face down anything that comes your way, and of course, a mercenary carries no shield other than the might in battle, if you're set, still set on sta uh, taking up this life after hearing what is required, then you might just have what it takes to become truly great. Perhaps you've got guts to become a legend among mercenaries. Ahem, <laughs> Cervante? Hmm, perhaps you'd be better le to leave it there. Your little chants do tend to go on and on. You don't want to scare the poor lad away. <laughs> I was just about get, uh, to get to the rest bit. Very well, don't want to scare the young enough. I'll give you the chance to meet, uh, be my student. First, you need to do something no mercenary can do without. Take this blade as a present from me to start you on the road to becoming a mighty hero. Yeah, novices claim more. <laughs> True strength lies in honing your own skills without training, even the greatest talent withers. With that blade in hand, explore the world and test your metal against the mighty foes. Gahahaha, <laughs> just kidding. Perhaps it's a bit too soon for that yet. Maybe you'd be better off helping quell some local disturbances to start with. Perhaps the fine chap behind the counter over there might have some work for you. Okay, so this kind of seems more like roguish than a... Heroic, like the paladin. You know, sort of like, oh, just me versus the world. I'll do whatever anyone asks. You know, fighting furious, whatever. <laughs> uh, there we go, Bard, what's up? Uh, hi there, I see old Cervante just gave you your first greatsword. Congratulations, Master Cervante can drone on a bit, but he really is a great man. He'll look out for you. Anyhow, it, if it's local problems you're looking for, Master Guile seems to be having a bit of monster trouble over at his farm. But I'm afraid that's all I know about. Uh, he didn't say what sort of monsters they were. I'm sure it's nothing too dangerous, just a bit of trouble at the farm after all. This is all part of being a mercenary. People will hire you to defeat monsters all the time. You have to weigh up their needs with your capabilities to decide if you're up to a challenge. It's a simple life, but it's definitely a rewarding one. The most worthy calling. Indeed! Seems you've picked up a pile of wisdom or two from my many tales, Bard. Uh, you may want to get going before he starts talking again. I'm sure you'll do fine. Oh, one more thing. My son actually headed over there a while ago to check out how bad the damage was. Uh, but he hasn't come back yet. His name's Jude. He's a novice mercenary, just like you. Worried? Oh, no. Not really. You probably just got scared of enough to hide somewhere. Run into him, take him with you, would you? Excellent idea. You can learn some basics of sword play from young Jude while you're at it. Great swords are big and heavy. Wielding them is all about your grip. That is to say, the best swordsman isn't necessarily the strongest. You'd better get going, lad. You'll be too late to do anything at this rate. Oh, what you like. Let's see if I... Oh, wait. No, I can't equip it yet. I was going to try and equip it. I can't because I haven't learnt level one of a swordsmithing or whatever it's called. Great sword? Probably great sword. Um, okay, whereabouts do I have to... Oh, straight into a cutscene. Is that him? 
Well, it's no good, they're just too scary. Okay. Uh, what? Oh, phew. I thought you were my father. Don't scare me like that. Huh? The trouble at the farm? How do you know about that? Ask if I were asked you to look for me. That must mean you're a mercenary too, right? I just fulfilled my life's dream of becoming a mercenary as well. Ever since I was a kid, my father has told me stories of great mercenaries. Well, actually, it was usually Cervantes. He's a regular over at the Crown. He told me all sorts of tales of mercenaries. Trusty blade in hand, facing down fearsome beasts. Adventuring through forests over deserts, across oceans, even to great islands in the sky. I'm sure he made some of it up, of course, but every word fascinated me. I knew back then that I wanted to be a great mercenary like they were. <sighs> huh? Cervante told you how to use a greatsword for me? Oh man, he must be thinking I've mastered use them already. But they're so heavy, I can barely lift one, let alone swing one. Ah, but wait, perhaps we could go there. Sorry, what was your name again? Dale, was it? Alright then, Dale, follow me. I know where the perfect place to practice. Cool, thank you for joining my party and telling me where to practice. Um, head to the field in West Castell. Oh, uh, hang on, there's a thing there. Did I uh, mine something? I think I may have mined something. Like my own business. Oh, -ho! pretty sure I've used that joke like a million times in this Let's Play. Okay, so yeah, it's this way, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what's it say? Uh, something stone? This stone is known as the Proving Stone. Many mercenaries have used it to hone their skills. Cervante once told me that by breaking a stone with your blade, you take the first step towards becoming a great mercenary. Sounds impossible, right? Well, he said there's no secret to... Uh, he said there's a secret to breaking it. What was it he said again? I'm sure you just hold your sword out and go, Yeah! Or something like that. Yeah! Ah, uh, it's no use. I can't remember at all. I was worried I'd hurt my hand, so I never actually tried to break it. I'll never be a real mercenary. Some mentor I am. I can't even teach you how to use a blade. What's all the fuss? That's Miguel. Who are you? Never mind who I am. You are making such a racket, I couldn't take a nap. Ah, the old proving stone. Still here, I see. You know about this stone? Hmm, you could say so, I suppose. How about I show you two kids a little trick? First of all, your stats are wrong. Great swords require more technique than power. Watch out, chaka! And yeah, we just learned the great sword skill. That's pretty cool. Great swords are slow but cause higher damage. You can attack by pressing A in various ways. As you rank up, you can trigger different kinds of attacks such as charged or consecutive strikes. You need both hands, so no shields. That's how it's done. Well, there's no way we can do that. You, over there, the quiet one. Why don't you give it a go? You don't need that much power to wield a great sword effectively. The most important thing is your grip. Equip your blade and then come speak to me. Okay, you left our party. That's fantastic. Um, equip our blade. Why can't I have a good blade? I need to make some, actually, don't I? Novices Claymore. Oh, yeah. And then talk to him. Hey. <laughs> You've equipped your blade? Good. Hold the sword as I showed you before, then try swinging it at that stone. You don't need to swing it that hard. Let the sword do the work. Oh, big sword. Oh, big sword. Okay. Bang. Bang. Was that it? Okay. <laughs> not bad. What? You broke it? That's incredible. Oh, the quiet one's not too shabby with a blade. Not too shabby at all. Right, now I'm going to try and get some shut eye before anything else comes and disturbs me. Mm hmm. Huh? He's gone. Who on Reveria was that old plushling? Well, anyway, I can't believe you actually broke that stone. I know. Why don't you come along and help me sort things out at the farm? What's that? Father asked you to do that already? Well, in that case, I don't need to explain. I took the job, but now I'm not sure if I'm up to it. But I'm sure we'll be fine if we go together. Come on, Dale. Let's get over to uh, Giles' farm. Giles? Giles? I kind of want to say Giles. Gillies. Um, it's probably, probably something completely random. Like Legolas. <laughs> now that would be one heck of a pronunciation for G-I-L-E-S. Okay, so over in the farm. Uh, this away. Hey, are you looking after midnight? You better be. Okay, so in here. Hey Giles, how's it going? Oh, it's a carroty. Carrot, carrot. The, the, there they are. Wait, it's just a carroty? They're just carrots that have somehow mutated and come to life. They're nothing but little pranksters. Maybe even I can deal with one of those. This one, oh no, three of them. The horror. What? There's more. Uh, actually, perhaps I c c can't deal with them after all. What? You'll get rid of them now? Great idea. You can already use a sword better than me anyway. I'll go and stand in a safe spot over there and uh, give you tactical advice. I'm sure you'll be fine, Dale. There's no match for you. Easy peasy. Carrot squeezy. I like how the farmer just runs off as well. Hi. Bang. 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 No, turn around. Oh my goodness. Just freaking rip. 
Okay, so it looks like timing is really important with this. Uh-huh, mashing just doesn't work. You did it, you're really something else, Dale. A fight between man and veg ain't something that you sees every day. <laughs> ah, Giles, I take that's the problem solved. Ah, right, everything looks right as rain. All right, let's go and tell Cervante we've finished the job. And you joins our party again. Was that literally it? You just, just learn timings, it would seem. And then as we rank up, we we learn new techniques, maybe? I think that's it. I think that's all there is to being a mercenary, although I'm probably wrong. Like I said, I haven't tried this out before, so we shall see. Okay, at least we've got loads of stamina, because it, it just takes so long for us to run around now. Well, it takes so long for our, our stamina to run out when we run around, which is fantastic. Okay, let's go into the crown and talk to Cervante. Uh-huh, here he is. Uh, what's he got to say? Well, well, not bad for your first job, and I hear you broke the proving stone. Impressive. An old plushling showed us the trick to doing it. An old plushling, you say? Yeah, he sure seems to know a lot about great swords. Is he a friend of yours? Hmm, I wonder if it was him. Or is this going to be him? Ha ha, help, it's awful. Oh, goodness. Ah, uh ha, -huh, ha. Uh, need to catch my breath. Well, basically, ha. Uh, ah, yes. I came to say thanks to your two young'uns. I forgot to say before, but I'm grateful for your help. Uh, no problem, but didn't you say something was awful? Yeah, right. I knew I came here for someone else. That'd be one of them razor beaks loose on, loose on a friend of mine's field in uh, over in West Castell. Is that so? The razor beak is big game. Big, big game. Why don't a very odd one show up around here? Why don't you go and ask him yourself? At this rate, that field will be torn to pieces. Hold on just a minute, Giles. D don't look at me, Cervante. I'll be no use at all. Well then, I guess this task falls to you, Dale. Great. To be asked to confront such a challenge on your first day as a mercenary, quite the achievement. What you're saying today is the first day of being a mercenary? Too dangerous, Cervante. This just isn't a bunch of tricks to carry us. This is a mean beast. Ah, but this young fellow doesn't yet know the taste of fear. He's perfect for the job. Listen up, Dale. Sometimes a mercenary must take their very pride on defeating a monster, especially vicious monsters that attack people. Indeed, they provide us with our very re uh, raison de terre. Uh, we mercenaries train every day preparing to face such foes. So what would you say is a mercenary's greatest enemy? Oh, I know, I know. Good, vicious enemies uh, what's attacking folk. And our very survey says, eh, eh, wrong answer, this, but this isn't a quiz, quiz show. You in particular should know the answer rather well, Jude. Well, what are you feeling right now, lad? The now? Um, I, I guess for fear. Ding dong! That's right. Now you still don't know true fear, which is why you are perfect for this task. Will you stand tall and throw down your foe, or will you succumb to the depths of fear? It really could go either way, but that's how I like to train my students. Just as an eagle may push a young un out of the nest, so shall I set you on your way. Perhaps I'm asking a bit much. However, I won't just push you out the door with no help at all. I have a special technique to teach you. Oh, what's that? Full swing. Hold down A to charge a powerful attack, release A at the right moment to full a front facing full swing because a proportional amount of SP you can't charge during an attack. Cool. Now then I'll take your blade and carve down your own powerful life. Awesome. Okay. I believe the razor beak is just a chicken. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I can take out a chicken. Oh yeah, no, this this place is where we came when we started out the the woodcutter life. Because I remember the, uh, what's her name, Elmi, appearing. So, yeah. Oh, oh, I'm so sleepy. I've had such a busy day, guys, you have no idea. Alright, Razor Beak. Oh, it's you. You widow. <laughs> Reggie. Ah, please don't come any closer. The fearsome Elvis chicken. Uh, this field is everything to me, huh? Oh, did Giles send you to help? Please, protect my field, I'm begging you. Oh, ho, ho. Quite a responsibility you've been given. Oh, here's him again. I thought I'd come and help this poor fellow out, but perhaps I'll leave it to the younger generation this time. The life of a mercenary is full of pressures like this. Can you overcome this foe? Wait! Oh, another young hatchling. Dale, let me help you. Two young hatchlings, one wanted rooster. An intriguing encounter I shall watch with great interest. Though I may, su though I suppose I ought to offer some help. Here, take this. No thanks, I don't need this. But that's the one that beats. Perhaps I'm still not ready after all. No, I am a mercenary. I'm not running this time, Dale. I'm g going to f, f fight Are you sure? Jude, are you sure? You watch him, uh... Oh, uh, no, it's coming! The fearsome beast! The giant... Well, not the giant, the, the chicken. Like... What? 
and it's already out. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> that was so easy. Did we win? I had my high shot mostly. Hmm. So you two young mercenaries managed to take down that razor beak. You did it. You saved my field. By the way, who is training you two youngsters? Ah, Cervante, eh? Looks like he's got his hands on a couple of promising young talents. Haha. <laughs> you know Cervante? You could say that. Anyway, my name is Miguel. I look forward to seeing how you progress. <laughs> Once you've honed your skills, you can find me in Owl Magic. Okay. Thank you, Miguel. That was great. You mercenaries sure are amazing. Thank you so much. My field is safe and it's all thanks to you. Please take this as a token of my gratitude. Money. Okay, so now we can just report back to Cervante and pretty sure we will become a novice or fledgling. I can't remember. I think it's fledgling. Or novice. It's one of the two I just repeated. <laughs> oh dear. So it looks like these great swords just deal ridiculous amounts of damage. I can't wait to get like a really, really good one from my blacksmith life. Yeah. Okay, let's go in here. Maybe next episode we'll spend doing a little bit of crafting rather than uh, mercenary stuff. Since people seem to like that anyway. Ah, you're back. You don't have to say a word. I can tell how it went just by the look on your faces. Jude, I'm impressed that you took it upon yourself to help out. Well, I'm still scared, but thinking of all those tales of great mercenaries gave me courage. Speaking of great mercenaries, that old plushling showed up again and said his name was Miguel. What? That old beanbag is still alive? You know, I thought I recognized his name when he told us. He's Miguel, the legendary swordsman. You two are friends once, right, Master Cervante? Not like Jude and young Dale here, working together to be even the strongest of foes. Not quite. He and I were bitter rivals. Oh, really? Well, I'm sure it's more of a friendly rivalry between two fellow mercenaries. Hmm. Let's move on, shall we? To tell you the truth, Samante, I was actually thinking of giving up being a mercenary. Is that so? But seeing Dale fight so bravely reminded me of why I became a mercenary, and I suppose I'm also quite fond of your tales of great mercenary heroes. Anyway, I've decided to give it another shot. Well, of course you have. You are my student, after all. You may not be legend material, but I'm sure you can become a hero in your own right. I don't know about that. Of course you can. Even that sounded a little bit more confident than before. Don't be too soft on him. He's got a long way to go yet. You should use young Dale as an example. Watch him tackle his foes and you'll learn well. Sometimes a mercenary has to be bold and take actions that seem reckless to others. But while it may look reckless, they must never be the reality of it. Hmm, he reminds me of myself when I was but a young whippersnapper. Hmm, perhaps that's true. <laughs> anyway, that's all from me for now, so there's nothing left for me to tell you. Cervante? Hold on, Master Cervante. What is it? Ah, oh, yes, I completely forgot. Dale, let me evaluate how you got on today. Oh, yeah, in mercenaries pass, we go from a novice to a fledgling. What do we actually get to a novice? I oh, know, we, we do become a fledgling. Okay, so it goes novice first, then fledgling. Whoa, extra 10 hit points? That's pretty good. Excellent, you should be proud. Looks like my instincts are still as sharp as ever. I can't fault your efforts today. I can happily certify you as a fully fledged mercenary. From now on, if you complete any quests, be sure to report back to me. If you earn enough stars, your rank as a mercenary might just increase. Ah, uh, yeah. Dale, Jude, both of you sh should aim to become Reveria's greatest mercenaries. Wahahaha. <laughs> awesome. So Jude is going to leave our party. And we have now started our ninth life out of 12. Oh man, after this, there's just three more left to go. Ooh. And just one more chapter in the story. Okay, awesome. So that's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you all very much for watching this episode of Fantasy Life. I will see you all next time when I, I want to do a little bit more crafting because I want to obviously make some new swords. Um, and I want to try making a new pickaxe and a new... Uh, axe as well. Maybe I can get some more materials uh, to help me chop down stuff in Levitania and obviously mine up ores in Levitania as well. So that's going to do it today, guys. Thank you all very much for watching, and of course, I will see you all in the next one. Thanks once again, and goodbye.